And now we go to CBS 17's Michael Hyland. He is live in Apex. That is where the vice president will be touring Thales Academy. It's a private school just reopened for kids to go back to school in person. Michael, I want to make a very clear distinction. This is not the campus where there was a reported uh, COVID case. That's right, that's a different campus uh, that's in Raleigh. Over here on Apex Peakway, there are dozens of people lined up out here to see Vice President Pence's motorcade as it comes through here. Behind me are primarily people who are protesting today, and across the street, you see primarily supporters of President Trump and Vice President Pence. The Vice President is coming here to Thales Academy, where he'll see a classroom and be part of a roundtable about schools reopening. We were here last week when Thales Academy opened for in-person classes five days a week. Within a few days, we found out a staff member at another Thales campus tested positive for COVID-19. The Trump administration has been pushing for schools to reopen, with the president threatening to pull funding from schools that don't. Governor Roy Cooper has given school districts here the choice to start with all remote learning or a hybrid in-person and remote learning model. The CDC just released new guidance on schools reopening last week. I talked to a young woman out here who plans to become a teacher and is concerned about this push to go back in person, as well as a mom whose son is in school at Thales. For him, specifically being there in person, he's been joyful every day, and every educator that he's encountered um, that we've experienced loves being back at school. So I'm very concerned that this is how they treat our teachers and that they're willing to put them at risk just for a few months of in-person education. The vice president will leave from here for a meeting at NC Biotech, where he'll be having a meeting about a potential COVID-19 vaccine. President Trump was just in Morrisville on Monday, highlighting Operation Warp Speed, which is an effort to get millions of doses of a COVID-19 vaccine produced on an accelerated timeline. Live in Apex, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.